hello guys welcome to our today's video today i'll be doing a detailed eyebrow tutorial and uh, the first thing that i'll be using is my powder because i just moisturize my face and it's kind of oily so i'll just set the powder so that it's it's easier to draw and i'll just dust off the excess powder with the fluffy brush And with a spoolie, I'll just comb my eyebrow hairs in shape before I outline the shape of the brows with my Davis eye pencil. And I'll just outline the shape of my brows. You don't have to be neat at this step. You just outline the shape of your brows. And when you're outlining the shape of the brows, the, the, upper, the upper side of the brows, you have to leave some space for blending. Then you can just go ahead and fill the, the end parts of the brows because you want that part darker. Then I'll just, I'll, I'll use this pulley to blend. The, from the inner from the outer corner down to the inner corner I'll just be blending then with the black eye pencil I'll just go over over the, the shape that I uh, that I outlined because I want my brows bold at this at this particular end I'll just and I'll just be using some very light strokes to 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 fill in with the black eye pencil and then with a small fluffy brush I'll just blend from the outer corner down to the inner corner from the outer corner down to the inner corner so that I can have one consistency like I the inner corner has Why to be lighter than the outer corner because I want my brows to look more natural as I am drawing next to me, but I know it's not the same. Why am I looking at you? With the black eye pencil again, I'll I'll be using it to and draw some some lines going up some hair like structures Why so that I it looks natural. So because I don't have hairs at that point at that place. So I'll just draw, I'll just draw lines, lines, yeah, hair like lines. And there. Then with my concealer, a legal pro concealer the shade 108 in case we have the same skin color i'll just use it to clean the downer part of my brows yep. and you don't have to use a lot of product at this point you just go with them. a little bit of it because later you'll blend it so that And for this part, you have to use uh, a flat brush, a flat angled brush, so that you can you can you can obtain very well, and so that it looks clean. And for the upper part of my brows, I'll be using this is Final Love Matte Foundation. And I really love this foundation. It's like my favorite because it's it's a medium, a medium coverage, so you can you can go with at least two layers so that you can get that full coverage and it's just awesome. Then I'll use 
and always use your foundation at the upper part of your brows. Even for the, the the lower part of your brows, avoid using over light, over light foundation or concealers because then some girls out here looking like clowns in a temple your So avoid going with over light foundation or concealer whatever you're using avoid that so i'll just go ahead and draw my the second the second eyebrow just to repeat the whole process so that you guys can understand more and uh, i hope you've considered subscribing please subscribe go ahead and subscribe and uh, and you guys can tell me if you want to see another video that I'm, that I'm going to show you how to do your brows like like a pro 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 using either soap, mascara or all those things. I'll be willing to share that because I'm good at it. And after I'm done, I'll just set the areas around my draw bone with this, this like the, the shade, the, sh the eyeshadow shade of my skin color, I'll just set the areas around that place because I don't want to appear cakey around those parts. And this is a, this is a, I think this, this is a very important process that you don't have to miss. Okay, you don't. You don't have to miss or you don't want to miss this place because you don't want your makeup appearing cakey. And that is it for me guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time again. And if you've not subscribed, you can go ahead and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye.